my friends. Welcome back to my den where we're going to share today's shave. Today's shave we're using CBL's Orion soap. This is kind of a one off for me. This is a different base that he was experimenting with. It's kind of a challenging base. I've uh, had it for a while and I just have never mastered getting it lathered quickly or easily. It's a little bit fussy. I got it. It appears to be pretty good. Uh, it got kind of a ropey yogurty type kind of a lather. It seems to be okay. So we'll just go with it. Worst can happen is it'll be flat and slick. It won't be puffy and slick. I'm using a badger or a boar brush and that could be part of the reason why I'm having trouble, but I don't know. Look at that, not real good. Well, well, I'm using the vector today, so that's okay. This it'll this will be plenty good for that. Done properly, which I've done maybe once or twice since I've had the soap. Uh, this soap is just incredible. But uh, maybe not as much when it's kind of flat like this. It's adequate though. It does pretty good on the cheeks, neckle regions. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. I know this is a pretty sharp blade, so I should be doing okay. Let's try it over here with real thin. Well, it's doing the job. I know it can do better. It's just a time consuming soap for me. A little slickness weirdness here last couple of shaves anyway I want to thank all you guys who have entered the uh, one blade giveaway there's still a couple of weeks to get in on that I just go back to the yesterday's video or actually what Sunday's video Saturday's Saturday's video and uh, enter yourself in the comment session of that. We'll be making a drawing on the 1st of February. Give it away that one one blade razor. I'm almost doing two passes just I might as well just do that and see what happens. This two passes with one application of a uh, of soap because that's kind of a time saving thing you can do yeah we're getting the job done look at that so there we go very quick Son of a gun. Two passes on one application of soap. That's a, it's a fine shave. I don't know if it is a darn fine shave, but it's pretty good. The uh, soap wasn't acting like a thought it should but it still did its job let's go ahead and call that a shave well, let's see because it's kind of novel for me let's try a little alum on there see if there's any irritation a little touch here on the tip of the chin I think I nabbed myself down here I can do that 
pretty often. When I was a kid, I wrecked on my bike and tore my chin all up. And there says a kind of a flapular piece of scar tissue. Doesn't get caught very often, but if I'm gonna cut myself almost for certain, it's gonna be right there. ourselves a little shot of the Thayer's lemon. Let that dry down a bit. For barber, uh, the aftershave, I'll use another CBL product. There is aftershave tonic. This one is in Barba fragrance. The fragrance of the soap really nice i don't really know what it is uh but it's one that i don't use enough to really know my nose isn't real good right now anyway it's winter time after all oh this might have been aftershave that's pretty close to the fragrance of that so it's refreshing it's good for your skin I can feel it kind of soaking in. Helping the hull plate damage there. Use the talc can in here. Dust myself off a little bit. And we'll call that a shave. We used today Seabell's Orion soap. We used a uh, sterling bore brush and the uh, taker offer is the uh, Blackland Vector. Thanks a lot for coming. I'm Major Rich. You'll find me at theshavingcoudry.com. Uh, if you feel so inclined, like and subscribe down here. Uh, if you're interested in that one blade, it is a giveaway. Go to Saturday's Shave and go into the comments and just type in I'm in. And I'll be randomly selecting a winner from, those, from that uh, group. Thanks all for coming. Bye-bye.